Welcome to Black Gumbo. Today we're going to pot some eggplant. I bought these uh, down at the Home Depot. They are your typical uh, 20 inch. I believe they're 20 inch. They hold about, uh, oh, it looks like about 15 gallons, maybe a little less. And uh, they're cheap. And so I thought, you know, I'll give these a try this year. I planted some squash in them earlier. They have a, a tray in the bottom that helps you to retain water. So what that means is that you have a, a reservoir down here that when you water your, your plants, the water drains out the holes that you can see in the bottom. But, but it, it, it keeps this much water, two inches of water down at the bottom of your pot, and that helps you retain moisture. Now the one thing I like to do with uh, all my potted plants is I put a little bit of wood mulch in the bottom uh, of the container. And what that does is help to Keep the uh, keep the container from plugging up. Keeps the holes from plugging up. If you've got some fine particles, or some uh, sandy potting soil, or you've got some uh, clays in there, whatever you have that might plug up those holes, if you put a little bit of uh, of mulch down in there, that helps to to form a filter. And uh, the benefit of hardwood mulch down in the bottom of your container is that as it sits down there in this water reservoir, you're going to have uh, that mulch is going to help to absorb water and retain moisture. So even if it begins to dry out that will stay damp down there. So I do that on all my con container plants and so that's, a, that's just a good practice that, that I found works for me. All right, so we've got our mulch in the container and now we need to put our soil in. And um, you, wanna, you wanna use a soil that's high in um, organic material, especially high in peat moss because that's, uh, that helps to retain the, the moisture. Now, most potting mixes have a good amount of peat moss in them. In fact, some potting soils are basically peat moss with a little bit of uh, compost thrown in. But um, today I, I don't have a bale of peat moss handy. Um, I do have a lot of recycled potting mix from last year that was more than 50% peat moss um, because I've amended it with what little peat moss I had left this year or earlier in the year. So I've got a lot of peat moss in there. I'm going to amend that with some compost and the compost is, is pretty organic and pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good at retaining moisture. So I'm going to hope that that works this year in keeping these plants from drying out. Now I'm going to fill it to about right there, about halfway up, maybe not quite half. And then I'm going to add in a uh, slow release organic fertilizer just to give my eggplant the assurance that there's going to be food down in there. Because uh, as, as rich as this compost is, it's going to break down quickly. And what I want is for there to be some other some other goodies down in here. That'll also help to make up for any lack of, of micronutrients that my soil might have. I, it's just a good practice, a slow release, low dose fertilizer. And so for fertilizer, I'm gonna use this uh, Dr. Earth Homegrown 463. So that's a, that's, a, that's a, a nice low dose. You don't need anything more than that. Your plants really don't benefit from having a higher uh, ratio there. So I'm gonna just add this to my pot. So about that much, a handful. I guess that's probably about a, a half a cup if I had to judge, maybe a little bit more. And I'll add that in there and just kind of stir it around and work it in just a little bit. And then I'll continue to fill these up to about right here. And then I'll add a little bit more fertilizer in, mix it in, and we'll be ready to plant our eggplants. Now, I always try to add a little bit of um, calcium to my soil, and I do that with this garden lime. You can get garden lime at any garden center. I buy whatever I can find. It comes in this, uh, this granular form, and I just sprinkle another, like a half a cup in here. And it's just a good practice. Uh, I tend to have problems with a lack of, of uh, calcium in our soil because we get so much rain here, and the rain s seems to leach that out of my soil. So I'm gonna add some calcium. Now you add that and just kind of mix that in. But I'm also going to top it off with a little bit of fertilizer as well. Just a little. And then you just kind of amend that into the soil a bit, mix it up a bit. And that's really all there is to preparing your, your pots. For a plant like eggplant that requires a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of nutrients and is a heavy feeder. So we'll mix this in here. Now you'll want to come back and fertilize your eggplants on a two to three week basis with a, uh, a low dose 
all-purpose fertilizer. You can use chemicals. You can use, uh, you know, miracle Grow chemicals. But if you're going to use that, um, like some gardeners say, dilute it about, by about half. Because you don't need, again, you don't need all that high ratio and that, that concentration. Uh, you just need something, something kind of low dose. But you want to do that uh, frequently. Two to three week rotation is, is usually pretty good. Uh, I plan to use fish emulsion, various kinds of organic fertilizers, and whatever I have laying around that happens to be a, a water-soluble fertilizer. You want that water-soluble because uh, that makes the food available to your plants right away, as opposed to what we put in here, which is the slow-release fertilizer. The, the, the non-water-soluble fertilizers have to be broken down by the life in this soil and the microorganisms eat that stuff and release the nutrients and that's how a slow release works so uh, yeah there's going to be a lot of nutrition in these pots all right let's plant some eggplant now i got these black beauty eggplants so this is kind of like the eggplant you might see at the grocery store that common eggplant that you would use in cooking in america um, and uh, it's a nice looking plant i have to give it to bonnie plants I've never really liked bonnie plants because I don't like having barcodes and big corporate stuff. But you know, hey, they're growing plants for our use and they're our benefit, so I'll buy them when I didn't plant my own seeds. So we're gonna put this plant in there all the way up to where it's already sitting in the soil right there. You can see that this seems to be a pretty healthy plant, but I'll give you a tip. When I was at the store, it was our local feed store, if you look on the bottom of these leaves, sometimes you'll find bugs already taking up residence, various kinds of um, uh, of eggs were on the bottom of some of these plants and so I left those on the shelf and I went to a different place and always check when you're buying plants at a store they sit out there they sit in your local environment and the local bugs find them and sometimes you'll find that you've got some some bad insects or the starts of bad insects you've got eggs down in here or, or mites or aphids check your check your uh, check your plants when you buy them Now you just kind of squeeze your pot a little bit, rotate it around, support your plant, give a little tap, and there you go. Now you see these roots are not too root bound, so I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to drop this right in there. That is it. Compress your soil down a little bit. Now you want to put just one plant in a container like this because, like I said, eggplant is a heavy feeder and it, this bucket, this 20 inch, uh, about, a, about a 15 gallon bucket will really only support one plant, unless you've got a dwarf variety or something, but this is just your standard eggplant and um, I want it to succeed, I don't want it to have to compete with another plant and so I'm going to put one plant per container and you'll see if you follow our channel that these will grow up and fill out this whole container and they will be very large plants come summer. Hopefully we'll get a lot of fruit off of them too. Alright, let's put some mulch in. I've got my hardwood mulch, the same stuff I put on the bottom and I'm just going to put mulch in these containers now. That's as deep as I want to go right there by the base of the plant until it starts to get established. But around here I'm going to put on a pretty good thick layer of mulch. Any kind of mulch will do, but I'm really a firm believer in this uh, hardwood mulch because it forms a really, a, 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 it's porous enough for water to get in, but it's dense enough where it helps really reduce the evaporation rate of the water escaping. It forms a nice firm mat. We'll, we'll see if we come back and look at this mulch at the end of the summer. It'll be light colored on top and it will actually look like the, the wood that you see on some playgrounds or things like that because it will be, it will be dried out on the top and, and all this organic material that's in here, uh, which is actually uh, the wood is composting now. Uh, this organic material will have seeped down in there and so even that is beneficial to your soil. Now that's one of the reasons that we put in our soil slow release fertilizer that's not water soluble because the mulch up here at the top and the mulch we have down at the bottom are going to decompose. And the process of decomposition, when those microbes attack this mulch, 
and start breaking it down, they bind up and tie up the resources that your plant needs. And so there's a little bit of competition going on there. And so you want to compensate for that by adding fertilizer. That's why we feed our plants. You put this in here, it's not just the plant that's feeding off the soil, it's all the microorganisms going on, uh, going to work to eat your mulch, to eat your soil, to eat all the organic material in there. Everybody's competing for food. And so um, it's, a, it's a matter of really kind of balancing that out. If you're going to use mulch and mulch in the bottom, you want to add some slow release fertilizer. stay out of the eggplant huh you gonna stay out of the eggplant now I don't anticipate these eggplants getting any higher than about four feet maybe they will they'll surprise me but uh, I've got parts of these old poles that I've had and they're about four feet tall so I'm gonna use these to drop them right down in the soil near the eggplant I'm not gonna break up the uh, root ball that was uh, in that little pot but I am gonna put it close to the plant what I'll do is I'll be able to tie off my uh, eggplant as it grows up uh, loosely to this pole and help it to grow upward. Yeah, just enough to give it some support while it's growing. So as it grows up and gets taller, I'll just tie it off uh, with some uh, garden twine or some garden plastic ribbon and uh, help that to just kind of stay in place upward to keep this plant kind of open and ready for airflow to keep the bugs down and keep the disease down. So, all right, let's water these in and we're done. I'm gonna use fish emulsion. It's a 511 uh, organic fertilizer that's derived from fish and therefore has lots of good micronutrients. They say it is uh, deodorized, but it's not. Uh, if, if this is deodorized, I don't wanna go anywhere near where they make this stuff. This is a really old bottle, it's split there, but uh, yeah, this has been good stuff for me. That'll give your plant readily available water-soluble nutrition right away, especially that nitrogen boost. So we're going to do that. No. 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 Now this stuff makes a good foliar feed as well and it uh, give, will give a good green boost to these eggplants. Help them get established. Yeah, though it stinks, it smells like nutrition. This stuff will also really help kickstart the biology in this, sto in this soil. So we'll have a real good uh, nutritious bed for our eggplant to grow in. like much yet but I guarantee you come the summer heat that's gonna fill that whole pot now here we go look at this this is two days later it's perked up you can see some color in the stem now and it's just uh, it's nice and taut it's really strong just being in this rich soil for two days I had a nice sunny day yesterday two days and it's looking really healthy this one over here is about the same Nice color coming in that we didn't have before. There's some real nice uh, strength to this main stem and we've got uh, a lot of health going on here. All right, thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo. We've got some eggplant and pots now. And so I think this is a good place for them right here by our my uh, bean bed that's not doing so well. I got some nut grass in there and we're gonna have to deal with that in another episode. Yeah, like us on Facebook, join our uh, Instagram account and uh, follow us there. Uh, leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed to our channel we invite you to do so we're just humbled by all the all the positive comments and all the uh, all the the banter we've had with you guys so thank you so much we'll talk to you next time bye bye